The engine lathe is one of the most important and common machine tools found in the machine shop. This versatile machine has many capabilities. Outside diameter or OD turning on a workpiece is accomplished as the single point tool moves parallel to the longitudinal axis of the part being turned. The purpose of this machining operation is to reduce the outside diameter of the workpiece to a precise dimension. Facing is accomplished as the single point tool moves across the end of the workpiece. This machining operation produces a perpendicular or square face to the outside or inside diameter of the part being turned. Drilling may be done in the end of the rotating workpiece. Large drills and other tailstock tooling often have tapered shanks. This provides center alignment of the tool when inserted in the tailstock spindle. Reaming is another lathe process making use of a tool held in the tailstock. 
Reaming is done to size a previously drilled hole to a precise diameter dimension. Other functions of the reamer are to restore round geometry to a hole and to provide a better surface finish inside a hole. Reamers primarily cut on their ends. So only a small amount of material, called the reaming allowance, is removed by this machining process. Boring on the lathe is another example of using a single point tool to enlarge an already existing hole to a precise diameter dimension. The tool used is the boring bar, which is held in the tool holder. Using the capabilities of the compound rest, angles and tapers may be turned on the outside diameter or bored on the inside diameter of the workpiece.
A cutoff or parting tool is used to cut off a workpiece on the lathe. A parting tool consists of a thin blade with side clearance on each side so that it will not bind during the cut. The tool is mounted in the tool holder and fed into the workpiece using the cross slide. A cutting lubricant is often used to facilitate a cutoff operation. Tapping on the lathe produces threads inside a hole drilled or bored in the workpiece. The tap may be held in the tailstock drill chuck, and under proper conditions, this machining operation may be done under power. Thread cutting is a major capability of the engine lathe. The single point threading tool is shaped by grinding to the required geometry of the thread to be cut and is mounted in the appropriate tool holder. The carriage of the lathe is moved by the lead screw in order to produce the required number of threads per inch on the workpiece. Single point thread cutting generally requires several cuts or passes, each with increasing depth, in order to produce the correct thread dimension.
Knurling is a material forming process and is done to provide a raised pattern on the workpiece, usually for the purpose of providing a gripping surface. Knurling may be done with a compound rest mounted tool that applies pressure to the side of the workpiece or it may be done with a double knurling one pass tool held in the tailstock. For further information, talk with your instructor and consult your text. Machine Tool Practices.